Patriots were without Nikhil Harry and Julian Edelman on Sunday, which put the focus on some other receivers, including Jacoby Myers. Mariah Janos and Evan Lazar here with you. Now, sticking with Myers, what did you like out of him yesterday? What did you see that stood out to you? Well, I think what's amazing about Jacoby Myers is that this is a guy that runs in the four, low four sixes, one of the slowest receivers in football. You know he's not going to beat you over the top, yet at the short and intermediate level of the field, he still gets open. It's, it's really a testament to his route running and his craftiness and his ability to kind of just get guys on their heels, despite the fact that he doesn't have great speed with his route releases at the line of scrimmage. So he can actually get defenders to backpedal and respect the fact that he might go vertical, even though everybody in the world knows he's not going vertical. So it's pretty incredible to watch him get open consistently at the intermediate level specifically when you know he's running eight yards and breaking. He's not running eight yards by you. And that's a very difficult thing to do. So it's a testament to, like I said, his work at the line of scrimmage first and foremost, I think is the most important thing because he gets himself such advantageous body positioning and leverage by being able to get defensive backs off their spots. Then once he gets up the field, he's pretty quick at the top of the route. He uses good body positioning and just kind of that ability to box out and get guys on his back so they can't contest the ball at the catch point and then strong hands. And and it's really – it's incredible. I mean, I don't know any other receivers in the league that are necessarily like this that are just so crafty in within 15 yards of the line of scrimmage that it doesn't matter that I know, that you know Mariah, that Tredavious White knows, or whoever else knows that he's breaking this right off over the middle. He still consistently does it and is consistently getting open more than any other Patriots receiver at this point. Now, with all that being said, moving forward, do you think he's cemented himself as a top three receiver or how will he be in the mix once everyone is back and healthy? Well, that's, I think, the difficult part is because, look, I I like Jacoby a lot. I think he's getting open a ton. I think he deserves to play. But those speed limitations that I just mentioned really harbor kind of shrinks his ceiling, right? We're at the peak right now. This is, I think, as good as Jacoby Myers is probably going to be at the NFL level. Whereas they have a little bit more upside if they can start to get more out of a Nikhil Harry or if they can get Julian Edelman healthy again and get him back on the field. And then obviously Demir Bird adds that speed element that they don't really get from any place else on this offense. So when you get back to those guys being healthy, are you going to roll out Edelman, Myers, Harry or Edelman, Harry, uh, Bird? those two iterations, one of them has some speed to it and one of them has none. So that that's, I think, the big, the most difficult evaluation process with Myers there is that he's clearly good enough to play at this level. He clearly gets open at this level, but his ceiling is so capped by his physical tools that it's difficult to see him playing any better than he's currently playing now. So where does the upside come from? Maybe he can be that slot possession guy, though, moving forward. And if Julian Edelman doesn't get all the way back healthy or this isn't Julian Edelman's season as it kind of is looking that way, maybe Myers ends up taking over his role in the slot and three wide receiver sets full time. All right, we'll see. For all of our Patriots coverage, head to clnsmedia.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel over at Patriots Press Pass.